let us review the Bishop's method of slope stability we have discussed in the regular lecture. It is different from the standard one, but the principle is the same. Basically, if I look at the weight, we take the moment of the weight through the lever arm and the strength mobilized and we calculate the factor of safety. And this will come back in terms of the limit equilibrium method for clays. The Fellini's method or method of slices is where you have taken only the forces due to gravity and nothing to do with the interslice forces. But what Bishop said was there are forces on each side of the slope, uh, the slice and we had to consider them. But the moment you take them, obviously you have extra force which we do not know and the problem becomes statically indeterminate. And if it is indeterminate, we had to go through an iterative process and what we find is generally if I use Bishop's method, I get a higher factor of safety. You are able to estimate the real factor of safety which if you neglect you get a very small value. This is the Bishop's method according to which this is let us say the gravity force and these are the interslice forces. And here is the normal force and we, if I take this into consideration, you can see that vertical force and the normal force. So the strength required is less because you already have a certain component which is opposing the sliding. So that is how we come. Here is the actual mechanics of it. I have this typical slope here. This is an arc of a circle. You have taken a slice of bit B the height of the slice is h, so we know how to calculate the weight. And if I look at the radius, the radius is inclined at an angle alpha, or if I draw a vertical line here, this angle also will be alpha. These are the forces acting on the slice, the gravity force, a downward force on the right side in this case, because the slope is pushing it from here, and a normal force and an upward and another normal force. This is the normal reaction and if there is any port pressure we want to calculate based on the port pressure at the base and the shear force T. Now what we do in Bishop's method is in order to account for first we neglect x1 and x2. We do not that is the simplified method and we try to take equilibrium of forces in the vertical direction, in which case I do not even have to look at E1 and E2. So I get the factor of safety in this fashion and what we have is this term M alpha I where M alpha is equal to cos alpha I into 1 plus tan alpha I tan phi by frictional angle mobilized FM. And if I know the alpha, the value of M is given here, we again have the simple table or a figure so that I can get straight away M alpha and use this when you are doing hand calculations and we can get the this term. And when we do this each slice you have to find out what is the term M alpha I from here for different values of alpha because you remember when you look at the alpha it can vary. Alpha can be 0 here, it can be very high. Alpha can also be negative. Please remember, if I take the vertical to the right, alpha is plus and to the left it is negative. So based on that, I can easily get this M alpha and that I use here to calculate the factor of safety. Use that factor of safety again and get iteratively because you remember here tan phi by F. So if the friction angle is 25 and I am assuming a factor of safety of 1.5, I have to do tan 25 by 1.5, enter into this graph and get the values. So it is an iterative process. I had to do the whole analysis by choosing different centers and different arcs. Suppose you have C page. This is the phreatic line and corresponding to any of the slices, you find out the port pressure and get the pore water pressure and the factor of safety. To prove that, 
factor safety using Bishop's method is high. So if I hand calculate, I get 1.25, but if I'm using a computer software, I get 1.15 because here we haven't been able to set the minimum. The computer does it, but you can see if I use Bishop's method, I get a higher factor of safety. In this case, it's only marginal in the dry case, but once slope has become wet, saturated with pore pressure, the factor of safety drops down, but then the Bishop's method definitely gives you a higher value. So if you didn't use modified Bishop's method, you would have predicted 1.15 but the actual slope is 1 point, uh, factor safety is 1.3. This is more safe than this one. So you can feel more confident that you have used a better method. 